Nestled, a video that makes you see this world differently. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Nestled. So, before we get started, I just want to thank you for all the subscribers. In my channel, I finally reached 300 subscribers. When I started this channel, I've never imagined like there were so many people who subscribed my channel. I think, yeah, probably 80, 90, or um, around 100, that would be a huge success for me since. I think only my friends, um, they would just watch these videos. But it turns out that these videos are also informative to the people around this world. So yeah, thank you for your subscription and uh, for your support. Just yesterday, there is a huge, huge news about um, the stock market. So the vaccine just released and all those stocks um, that suffered very much during this pandemic just skyrocketing. This skyrocket not just mean like 10 or 15%, but like 20, 30, and even 50%. So I do own two stocks that got very beneficial from yesterday's rise. First is Trip.com, the second is IMAX. And in the previous videos, I mentioned I just don't want to sell any stocks uh, in my portfolio, but yeah. Um, Nothing is absolute. Um, you should always you know, improvise according to this environment. So yesterday, when the news comes out, I decided to just sell off these two stocks. The reason why I sell out these two stocks is not you know, for the short-term profit. The main reason why I sell off those stocks is I find other technical stocks that got a lot of great potential and are really willing to buy their price just got dropped. However, the truth is I just have very limited um, cash on my hand. Uh, if I need to wait for my salary, then there's still a period of time. Therefore, I think it is a better chance for me to sell off these two stocks in the short term and uh, in order to purchase those more potential stocks in my opinion. So here is the thing probably can come into mind. Why these stocks are just skyrocketing? Like, for example, for Trip.com, I just can't get it. So Trip.com is a Chinese tripping company, if you haven't watched my previous videos yet. So they were just dealing all those kind of bookings uh, for all those traveling um, stuff in China. So United States released this kind of vaccine, and this is only be approved uh, for 90%, and it's not in production yet. Is there a relationship with a Chinese company whose business is only in China? There's zero. There's no relation. And the only reason why its stock price is increasing is just because they are in the tripping uh, company's portfolio. When the price of the sector in the stock market is increasing, most of the stocks in that sector will increase as well. Therefore, um, its prices skyrocketed to like $36 per share um, around there yesterday. And also for IMAX. IMAX, as you know, is a filming company. Uh, I don't think people's behavior will change say in one or two years, like people will still not choose to go to cinema, especially in the United States. Meanwhile, I just don't believe the filming process can start in the very short term. So here's my point. Even though the vaccine has come out and 90% of the people can immune to the coronavirus, it doesn't mean that the vaccine can come out in very short term. Let's say in this year, there was just only one month left in this year. And all those process and also the manufacturing can take a long time in my opinion. Especially in this winter, I believe um, the coronavirus will still spread in many districts in this world. And I just don't think in the short term there will be any financial changes for all those companies. However, on the other hand, you know, since the amount of the money in the market is limited, is fixed. If one sector is increasing, definitely other sectors will drop. Therefore, therefore, currently I see several companies that are very interesting to me. The first is either Huya or Douyu. Uh, previously, I purchased their stocks and I make a huge, huge profit from it. Recently, the stock price dropped back and I think, okay, this is definitely a good buy for me as well. So the reason why I put Huya and Douyu together is because they will merge together in um, the first half of 2021. This is actually a very huge news for me since as long as they merge together, uh, the profit margin can largely improve since their competition cost is uh, reduced very much. And I believe they also got a very uh, bright future in the gaming company, especially in China. And second, of course, is Baba. Previously, I mentioned it. And third is China Mobile. Um, if it drops below $30 per share, I would definitely buy more. And the fourth stock is Taoduck. I know this stock has been purchased by ARK Investments, uh, one of the most famous uh, investment firms in Wall Street. I know they are quite bullish on this stock, but 
after my calculation, I just can't, you know, put my money onto this stock when it's like 170s. I just don't think that is a very good price for me, in my opinion. Just in my opinion, I mean. However, when it drops to $150, I, I will stop buying. During this cash out, uh, it's like I got 20% of my portfolio in cash and the rest of them are um, either in gold and also in the stocks. I don't know whether my transition is good or not, but just follow my instinction. I think for these two stocks, Amex and Trip.com, uh, their price is kind of overwhelmed uh, my estimation. While well, for some stocks, especially for those technology stocks, they are under my estimation. And therefore, I would like to do a transition here. And hopefully, in the long term, it will turn out to be a very good uh, choice made in my life. The price I sell out for Trip.com is around $36.1 per share. While for Amex, I sell out at $14.2 per share. So for Amex, uh, I gain around 20%. It's not that much. But for Trip.com, I gained for over 50%. So that is kind of a significant portion. And for the principal I invested in these two stocks was quite large uh, in the middle of this year. Back to then, when I invested in these two companies, actually, I'm not thinking to hold it very long term. Uh, probably just at that time, I, I was thinking like four to five years, and that's it when its price you know, it just comes back. All right, I think this is the end for this video. Let me know what other stocks you are purchasing and you are also willing to purchase or you are just interested in and wish me to analyze it for you. Then before I like it, so I'm enjoying it. See you next time.